Our house was a um, three-room house. There was bunk beds in our bedroom. That's where we had our little wash station as well with our bucket because we didn't have indoor plumbing. My dad worked as a, um, he was a mechanic, uh, uh, like a backyard mechanic. He would take jobs doing whatever. He was really quite clever, but unfortunately he was an alcoholic. So he couldn't keep, really keep a job. Sometimes lunches, literally, I would sometimes have a ketchup sandwich, but as a kid, that's kind of a treat. Everyone likes ketchup, right? <laughs> sometimes they would have like a big bag of clothes that they would just drop off to us. And on the one hand, it was really exciting because it was like shopping without leaving your house. Because you would rifle through this bag and you would try on different things and it, you'd really want it to fit. And so you'd sometimes wear things that were too big because, you know, you really liked it. You know, our kids are like... But then I, I kind of realized that these, these clothes have come from somebody in my community and it's a fairly small community and, 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 I, and I don't want somebody to make fun of me because I'm wearing the clothes that they wore and I can't afford to buy clothes. Most of the kids that were in that school didn't know where I lived, didn't, uh, didn't know what my home situation was like. And I don't know if I did know that I was living in poverty. To break the cycle of child poverty, we must do more than support children. We must support the families and communities that surround them. By funding research, investing in local programs, and advocating for those in need, United Way strengthens the fabric of our community. With your help, we can prevent poverty.